Hello everyone, welcome back. Um, I'm starting my morning off with Aspen running right across my beds. Um, we're gonna be weeding today here at the garden. Um, with all the, the compost, it makes it so much easier to weed through everything. Um, it's just so much softer and, oh, this is rough. My goodness, it's not like I don't weed here very often, I mean, I do, but oh, if you grow anything, you know, weeds are just awful. I don't know how there get to be so many of them, but there are, and it's awful. I'm gonna pinch some some more of these um, snapdragons. Hopefully, get them to be a little a little bushier. I'm just kind of like it's got some of this growth here. Uh, pinch it right there. <sighs> I'm still, still haven't gotten any even buds from this ranunculus. Um, I mean, it looks great. It's very be Oh, there we go. There's a bud. All right. I guess we got these so late that I really ugh, wouldn't be surprised if I didn't get any buds out of them, but any flowers I and mean, these are more of like a, a springtime flower that you'd get with your tulips but um, yeah see these we just got them so late we didn't get them until the spring so kind of sucked next year we're gonna get them ordered in for the fall probably plant them in the fall but yeah see that just it just doesn't look that right but now we know Gosh, there's just so many weeds it's awful I hate weeds some, oh, some got a couple buds, but I just don't think they're gonna look that great this year. I had high hopes, but no, my snaps are looking really good. I was, oh, was kind of hoping to have flowers by now. I really wanted to have them by Mother's Day to make bouquets with the um, with the tulips, but that didn't happen because our tulip season has ended. I mean, even all of this clover is. Is blooming, but this is our tulip patch. I've kind of picked through everything. There's like this left, but that's really it. It's gonna let that bloom, and then the daffodils are over there. Yeah, Aspen hasn't been outside to play. Oh, there's a bee! <laughs> I actually have to get down there. We finally got our new boxes of brood boxes, so I'm gonna put that swarm that I caught from the nuke box that they're in oh, <laughs> to um to a brood box because that needs to be done. I also need to debud these peonies. These are only first year peonies so I want them to focus on growing some real good roots so we're gonna take those right off. Right Aspen? Oh, you're annoying but you're cute. Yeah, I mean, like, even some of them have, I think ones down there have, like, really big buds, but they've got a, unfortunately, this one is, like, it's, like, a mini, mini one. <laughs> yeah. But they've got to come off, and there's ants on them, and that's really just because once the peony gets a bud, they have, like, this nectar that the ants really like, so they kind of come and eat the nectar. But it's not really an issue. I mean, they're just, they're not going to damage the flower once I... In a few years, once I'm like actually picking them, just sh shake the ants off and then it's fine. But yeah, I better uh, get to weeding. It's super moist and kind of hot and muggy out here. So I've got uh, the gnats are so bad. I just want to get this done so that I can go do something else, I guess. Alright, so that's row two. It's all done. Now for the snaps. Um, it's kind of easier. I mean, not easy. Oh, Aspen is eating grass. Um, when you come through here, because I can't really fit the, the hoe through here. So I've kind of got to do it by hand, but there are actually less weeds just because the snaps have really taken off here. So there are less that I can just kind of come through here by hand. 
grab these. Um, I mean, not my favorite, but see, like, what the heck is that? No, thank you. Just get rid of these. Yeah, and then you get these little, little like thistle. Don't like those. Alex called. Sorry. Um, so he's hooking up the mower and he's gonna go mow some hay. So exciting. Um, so I'm just gonna weed this celosia. Everything else looks fine. The celosia is pretty bad though, and the basil. So I'm gonna get that done. Then I'm gonna go over, fill the uh, 95 up with fuel, take off the grabbers, hook it up to the tedder. I do like tedding. I love tedding when it's like straight out of like the freshly mowed like rows. It's just so satisfying. I'll show you guys, don't worry. But we're gonna get this celosia weeded up, the basil, get all these weeds out of here and then uh, head back to the farm. The gnats are just so bad. I can't wait to get out of the garden. I can't believe I'm seeing that. But I already let the ducks out, so they're all set. But hopefully Aspen doesn't try to run away from me again. I did lose her for a little bit, but apparently she was just in this rye, just like right here in there. Um, she's all soaked, it's so funny, but. Yep, all right, I'm gonna get this done and then go to the farm. All right, so all of the flowers for the most part are have been weeded. Um, I went over, hooked up the tether, and I got that all greased up. I got very greasy in the meantime. Aspen, come on. She's going into the weeds. She's going into tick central. Love that. Anyway, so that's all done. Um, Alex is mowing some hay. Very exciting. It is May 17th and he's mowing maybe about 70 acres. I'm not sure since we took out that backfield to do soybeans instead. But now I'm going to be taking um, this box because we finally got all this stuff. I painted this last uh, two nights ago actually and then I gave it a new coat today. Got a new bottom board, new box. I even have this B, oh, I didn't grab a screwdriver. I got this B awning. So it's supposed to go here, kind of protect them a little bit more from like rain and snow and stuff. But I forgot the screwdriver. I don't have one in this car. I bet I could figure something out. I have drill bits. Pretty sure that's what this is. I gotta clean my car out tonight because, ooh, I do have drill bits. Pretty much a screwdriver. Sweet. I marked like the holes where I gotta put these in. Directions. Um, I put the screws in here so I wouldn't lose them. Um, I mean, it can't be that hard, right? Just these, these two little screws. Well, apparently the hardest part about this is getting the screws out of the bag. It's got those. And then I, I marked two little holes here. Just, I mean, you can't even really see it. Yeah, right there. And then right there. So I'm just gonna try to get these in there. Hope, I mean, it shouldn't be too difficult. thing just spins. I feel like this is gonna like go through the board. It feels like a, a large screw. Okay, 
Jeez. Oh, there's already a bee right here. <laughs> already a bee. Hopefully it's from the hive that I've got to put in, the, like the nuke that i got to put in here anyway. That'd be convenient. But. <laughs> Come on. I guess that's what I get for doing this semi-close. I mean, the hives are right behind this little tree, so whatever. I'm going to pop these in real quick and, you know, oh, there's the ducks. When I came back here, they were laying in the grass. So cute. <laughs> Look what I just found in my car. Are you kidding me? Well, this will certainly make things go faster. That's so annoying. Oh, I just did that all by hand. And now, now I'm seeing it's a little crooked. Nice. Oh, it's not crooked. Wow. That is so annoying. I had this in my car the whole time. <sighs> okay, well, it's on. Um, yeah, it looks pretty good. It's not crooked, I don't think. But I think I, I put six frames in here. This is my, I was trying to use this thing. I don't really know what it is, but it came with a little car wash kit. I use it occasionally when I realize that I don't have a screwdriver in my car. I really should just get like a little screwdriver set to put in here, but whatever. Yeah, I got six frames in here because I don't remember exactly how many frames I have in that nuke box. So be used to checking things out, but I'm gonna get my suit on and get her done, hopefully. I gotta find Aspen also, she kind of disappeared. Well, here we are. I don't know what's going on. I feel like they're all like fighting. They're probably not, but whatever. What the heck? And I'm thinking that, are these all the drones that are like getting kicked out probably? Yeah. There's a bunch of drones, but um, we're gonna try to work through it. I should probably move this over here. But, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set this. Oh my God, yeah. Anyway, um, I think I'm gonna try to set this like up here maybe, um, just to try to, I mean, cause there is quite a bit of activity. It's actually more activity in this box than there is in my, um, Saskatraz hive, but that's a whole different, uh, story. I don't know what's going on with there. That's the one that half of them came dead, but the queen was still alive. But I just looked through almost that whole box and I couldn't find the queen. So that's not good. Anyway, so maybe we'll end up being, you know, cause this is, this, this is very tight. I am, hive inspections are gonna be a, mm, terrible this year. Cause there's like no space in between my hives. I'm gonna have to probably make some, make something else to, uh, maybe like for another hive, but we'll figure that out when we uh, get there, I guess. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna move this box. Set her down right there. Oh, look at that, I get to move this back over here. And I'm gonna pull the hive up here. my high school. Get this right here. Oh, I mean, there's, a, seems like there's enough space, I guess. I don't know. There's not much, but there's some. Now we're just going to pop this on here. All right. I think I already saw like a bee checking it out up there. <laughs> so, 
I'm gonna pop this open. Get ready for the hell storm. Well, I guess there's not much popping that needs to be done because, I mean, the nails didn't really do too much. And this thing has been getting rained on. So the top wood is pretty soft. Well, hello. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm going to spray these guys with some sugar water because I don't like being attacked. And hopefully this makes it so they can't fly. Yeah, they're all kind of going into the hive. Alrighty. Oh, wow. This is full of the pollen substitute and they actually they ate that down pretty good. So that's good. Maybe I'll stick that in here too. They've been using it. All right. So this has some drawn out comb on it. Let's stick that in here. Move one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I have one extra frame in this box. So I'll just take out and give it to another hive, honestly. All righty. Hello, hello. Knock, knock. And I'm gonna look for the queen as I go. She's not on that one. And I'm just gonna get them in this box as quickly as possible. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I have two extra frames. I lied. <laughs> so we'll just push these over. Yeah, they're a little upset, understandably. All right, I'm gonna pop this frame over. Take a quick gander for the queen and then pop it in that hive. They are mad. I know, I'm sorry. It's been a while since I've installed a nuke that we like bought, so I don't really know if you're supposed to spray them with sugar water or just pop them in, but I'm spraying them with sugar water. It's extra food and they will be fine. All right, I'm not seeing the queen on that frame, so I'm gonna pop that in there. There you go. Oh my gosh. There's so many bees on this frame. Oh my, they really stuck to like this side of the box, which I think is kind of funny, but. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna keep her going. I couldn't tell if the camera was still on. The screen turned off, but we're gonna keep going. Okay. And again, I'm gonna just kind of loosen this one from this one. Oh, they're capping honey in here. Wow. All right. You go, girls. Okay, okay, okay. And again, they'll be fine. Hopefully. If you're a bee expert and you're watching this and I'm doing something wrong, please let me know. But, I mean, this frame is pretty heavy. They've got, got quite a bit of honey in here. That's good. I haven't really seen any, like, brood. I don't know if I'm really supposed to in a nuke box, but these guys are doing great. Oh my gosh. Oh, right. Oh, oh, there's the queen! Yay! Oh my god! I love finding the queen! All right, yay! Okay, all right! We're gonna, s oh, this one has a lot of honey in it though. I want to put it in the middle because it has the queen on it, but there's so much honey that I'm thinking that I should put it, I'll put it kind of in the middle, but like an edge middle. Ooh! I love finding the queen. Oh, it's just so exciting. Oh, she's eating away. Okay. We're going to put her this way. I really didn't think I was going to be able to find her. She is in there. She is living. She is doing well. Yay! Oh my gosh. What a good day. And then there's not too many left that aren't on the frames. So 
my job just got a little bit easier. Come on. I think I got some sugar water in my mouth. And I'm not really seeing any eggs. I'm just seeing lots of honey and like pollen filled cells. Which is a little interesting, but she'll get to work. Oh, do I have room for another frame? No. These are 10 frame boxes. Now that these are kind of wet with sugar water, it's making my job a little bit more difficult, but alrighty. Yay! Now I'm just going to dump these guys in there. Boop, 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 boop. Or, no, no, I'm going to. Oh, oh, I was dumping bees. Thought I was dumping a bunch of crap in there. Oh, this is so exciting. can't really like scoop these out. They're all kind of like going out the, the entrance. Like, no! Oh my gosh. There's a bee like watching. She's got a lot of pollen on her. I don't know if you can see it, but she's just like watching us. She's like, oh my gosh, they're destroying my home. I'm not, I'm giving you a bigger home and a better home. leave this box here and allow them to slowly vacate the premises. Mm. And this is the box from my recent um, putting the, uh, the new Russians into this hive. I'll get that out of here. Uh, I'm not gonna give them the pollen. Should I give them the pollen? They seem to be liking it. Ah, oh, decisions, decisions. I'll give it to them. I'll be back soon to check on everyone anyway, so. If I decide that they don't seem to be wanting it, then I'll just take it away and give them a frame. But they seemed to be eating this down pretty good. We filled it pretty, pretty good, I thought, so. I want to give it to him. No, actually, I don't. I'm very indecisive. Oh, I accidentally moved the camera. If you couldn't tell, I'm super indecisive. But, all right, so that's good. Get this inner cover on. So they're kind of flying around right now. And the outer cover. Oh, man. I never ever would have thought that I would have A, I never thought that I would have B's. B, didn't think I would have this many hives, but we have five. I mean, it really doesn't look like much, but I mean, it's a lot of bees. <laughs> so actually, I also want to open this up to see if they ate through the newspaper and maybe check on my carniolans. I got to see if they need a super because I think they're going to need a super pretty soon. Maybe I'll give them that today but we'll see. So it doesn't look like they ate through the newspaper. I did have to put the box with the queen on top. So this is the box with the queen and this is the, the old one that didn't have a queen. Um, if anyone has any advice for me, please let me know because I don't wanna just take it out and like mess them all up. They are, they are building comb. So they, these guys are getting to work. But I am worried about these guys. So I might open, maybe like crack that open real quick. Maybe not. No, I'm not going to. So if any um, bee experts have any uh, insight for me, 
that would be greatly appreciated because sometimes I feel like I don't know what I'm doing. But yeah, because it doesn't, I can't. Yeah, they haven't really kind of, oh, hello. <laughs> you can kind of see down in there that they haven't, they haven't chewed through that newspaper. At least from what I can see. Oh wait, no they did, they did. Oh good. Oh yeah, cause I can, can kind of see the hole down in there. Okay, all right. So maybe I will open this bottom box and see if they have migrated upwards. And if they haven't, what should I do? <laughs> Any advice, let me know. So I just now learned that with the bee awning, my entrance feeder doesn't fit. So I put it on top. Mm. Hopefully they'll make their way to it, cause yikes. Anyway, I'm gonna open up this carniolan hive, my oldest, my oldest hive. I've really only been doing this. This would be my like third summer maybe, not even. So maybe like my second summer. So I'm still fairly new. I've done a lot of research, but any suggestions are always welcome, as long as they're not mean. So I'm gonna pop this open and see what we've got in here. And I've gotta move this hive over a little bit so that I can get to the clips. So I guess this is where I would want to have all wooden hives so that I can have all this space in here, but I do like these Apame hives. They are quite nice. I don't know what's going on here. They just seem so angry. These ones always seem so angry. Oh. Oh, I should go get my duct tape actually. They, there's a hole in the entrance, feed, or the top feeder on this one. So they can like come up and go into the, um, like into the top kind of, and then they can't find their way back in. And then they die. So we don't like that. Oh my God, <gasps> is that a freaking from a bear tooth or something? This right here, ah, that's scary. Oh, we don't like to see that. I'm gonna scrape that out. That's, um, I'll scrape it out. I hate when they propolize this stuff up because then I can't see what's going on. Ah, shoot. Oh, now I really gotta fin fix the fence because I just kind of messed it up a little bit, but <laughs> the duct tape is in my car. Right, Aspen? Say hi. She's kind of, whenever I do the bee, she kind of just does her own thing. She knows not to try to come in here. <laughs> she keeps her distance. So she'll stay, she'll stay right out there. Aspen. Don't act like I just lied. Anyway, I'm gonna pop this open. Oh my God. There's a big, big ass spider in here. Oh my God. Yeah, because they're eating this. And this is the cause of that. Oh. I gotta bring tape. I should have shoved it like. Why does that one? That one, that one looked so weird. That was definitely a drone. Um, yeah, now they're all coming out. Like, it's like, no, stay in. Thank you. Um, oh my god. They're like pelting into the top of this hive. It, it, it only ever looks like it's drones that are pelting into it. So that's super strange. Um, okay, I'm gonna pop this open. I'm kind of scared. <laughs> oh my god. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's just do it. Don't be scared, just do it. I think there's still sugar water in this one. Oh, oh, there's a yellow jacket. Shit. Oh no, it flew away. No. Oh, oh, I'm so scared. Oh, I'm so scared. I'm so scared. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Can yellow jackets, 
Can they sting through this? Oh, I'm so scared. Now, now I'm definitely not opening this hive. I mean, no, I'm gonna open this hive. Um, I gotta get yellow jacket traps out today. So that's gonna happen. That one seems so big. With the queen. Oh, oh my God, I'm so scared. I need like a fly swatter out here when I see yellow jackets. It's like she's waiting for me to open this. I'm too scared. It's not like in the hive. It's right there. Oh, I want to kill it so bad. But I definitely don't want to open this with a yellow jacket flying around. I need it to land so I can kill it. I think it heard me. Oh, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm trying to trap it in here so I can kill it. Oh my God. Oh. Yeah, the drones are just being like struck out of the sky and pelted onto this. I swear. Because it's only drones that are landing on that. And I think it's so funny. <laughs> Boom. Bop, bop, bop. Drone, drone. So I think it's drone kick out season. They say, get out of here, bro. You're not needed. <sighs> I don't, I don't like opening this if I know that there's a yellow jacket around. It's like I don't see it right now, but she's lurking. I can feel it. If she ends up in the hive, I'm gonna be mad. Like real mad. But I need to check to see no, they haven't built on these outside, but they've built on this one a little bit. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. You hate me. They're all the way over on that one. So I'm going to give them a super. Not today. Should I just do it today? Uh, Aspen, what do you think? Super today? Probably because we are doing hay. Oh, sorry, get out of there. Oh, I hate when they do this. They're all like crawling up through here. And then I don't want to smush them. Go. Anyway. Okay, I'm sorry. Here, grab one of my hand. <laughs> oh, there's so many drones just coming out. Do they not know how to fly? I got it. So now we're ready to rock and roll. And I mean, pretty, I shouldn't have latched this in. Why did I do that? I knew I was gonna have to come back here and just unlatch it all over again, but whatever. So here we go. Oh, and I got the big scary spider off, so we're good there. Hello, I'm back. Set you in the grass there. Since they're angry and flying, this is a good time to see. You know, make sure they can come through the queen excluder. I always feel like they're not gonna be able to, but I know they can because I've seen it. Come on, you can do it. Oh my God, is that the queen? No, that's a drone, yeah. That's a drone. Come on. Yeah, all right. So you show everyone else how to do that and then we'll be chill. That drone is not very happy. Oh my God, there's like a, quite a few drones actually. 
that want out. <laughs> there you go, buddy. Enjoy the real world, I guess. Ugh. All right. Pop this bad boy on there. I feel like I should put like a cinder block on here, probably, just in case. But there we go. I mean, nothing really to it. I mean, it's pretty simple. So I think I'm gonna pop open um, the other carniolan hive, just give them their extra frame. And then, maybe not the Saskatraz yet, cause they're still, I don't know what's going on with them, but. Pop these back in there. Make some honey. Actually.